Howdy, everybody. This is Steve, KM9G, and I've got another Zygu firmware update for you for the X6100. This is April 18th, 2022, came out today, which is fantastic. When you download the software, it's actually got different dates on it. It's a little bit older, but yeah, I'll take it. Uh, looks like everybody's getting out of the woodwork over there, getting back to work, getting back to getting stuff done, which is fantastic news. Good stuff to hear. The change log is on my screen over there, so let me take a look at it. And we'll share it with you. This is version 1.1.5, April 10th, 2022. Uh, they fixed a bug. The last character in the string of AGC mode is cut is half cut off in memo mode. I can't replicate this on the old one. I can't see any difference on the new one because it didn't look that way on the old one for me. So I don't know what's going on there. Fixed bug CW decoder is not working. I've got some footage here of the CW decoder that is working. And a pro tip that came out on the Toad's Discord today is turn your squelch up. It'll get rid of all those E's and T's. Why didn't I think of that? Like that's the like the most basic thing in radio is to turn the squelch up to get rid of unwanted noise. So just making fun of myself on that one. All right, so it does, it does a little bit better. It's still not great, but it does a little bit better. Fixed bug, incorrect UTC offset time zone. I don't know where that's coming from. I haven't been able to get the built-in NTP date to work. And when I turn the dial on the time zone offset, it offsets. Maybe it doesn't display the time on the screen correct when it was offset before. But I never looked at the clock on the radio anyway because it didn't really provide any value to me to have a clock on the radio face. I've got other ways of telling time. Anyway, neither here nor there. They did something. I can't verify it either way. Change the range of built-in handheld speaker mic gain. So the old version was 0 to 36, default 10. The actual gain was 0 to about 18 dB. Step 0.5 dB. I confirm that that's true. The new version is 0 to 50. Default is 20. Actual gain minus 10 to plus 15 dB. Step 0.5 dB. I verified that. Both of those do change. I don't have any equipment to measure decibels, uh, but uh, the dial does go to the new range where it didn't go to that range before, so yay for that. All right, so the base. This is the code that runs on the SDR, SDR on the uh, STM32 inside the radio, I believe. Let's get those up on the screen. Um, let's see. Fixed bug, battery can't be fully charged. I have no way of knowing whether the battery is fully charged or not. The only gauge I have is the gauge that's built into the radio and it told me that it charged but was it fully charged or not I don't know uh, fix bug won't charge at power off state occasionally I don't know about that one either fix bug have to switch band or press PTT once at the first time of power up and there's no output RF power I have seen a bug where the battery gauge, they call it the fuel gauge, where the fuel gauge will show 0.0, .0 volts, even though the radio is obviously on because you can see the fuel gauge, and there will be no signals on the waterfall at all. If you hold the power button down for a little bit, it does recover. But the way that they have this worded, it could be the same thing, it could not be the same thing. Of course, you're not going to get any output RF power until you press the push to talk button. But they might be referring to no input power. And I've been running the firmware for about an hour or so. I haven't seen that no, um, no battery charge, no power, and no signals on the waterfall thing to be able to push the PTT to see if that'll work. So I, I can't confirm or deny this one either. Fix the problem that the built-in handheld speakers mic gain is too high. So they changed it. They fixed the problem that the mic gain was too high. The scale used to go from 0 to 36 and went to 18 dB. Okay. And they changed it so it goes from 0 to 50, and it defaults to 20, and the gain is minus 10 to plus 15. So they lowered it by 3 dB. Okay. Um, the built-in handheld speaker's mic, which is interesting wording, speaker's mic. The, the speaker's microphone. Maybe that's what they mean. Not the speaker in the radio that you hear the signals out of, but you, the speaker's, the speaker's owner. Meh. I can see that. Um, but the only way to figure that out is audio reports from the far side of the conversation. And we'll have a video on the channel coming up on how you can hear that and modify your settings so that you sound good on the far side. Be sure to subscribe for that. Ring the bell, all that jazz. Fix the problem that the gain adjustment of the built-in handheld speaker is not obvious. 
it's not obvious that they fixed it because I don't see anything different. It still says I gain, H gain, but then this is also talking about built-in handheld speaker, not built-in handheld mic, because I am, I am the built-in handheld speaker. I don't know. There's not a whole lot to demonstrate with this firmware change other than the Morse code decoder, the CW decoder that I showed you earlier. Uh, is it a worthwhile upgrade? For the price, can't complain. Either way, there is a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.